Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Beaky with the Untitled Game Show, back once again with another Beaky Talks. And for you guys today, we're going to be talking in tech, specifically Microsoft. They got sued by a woman over Windows 10 upgrade, and she actually won $10,000. Not a drop in the bucket for Microsoft, but it's the point of the story because this relates to me, and I'm sure many of you out there might have actually run into this problems for yourself or your family. So you guys might remember in early 2015, Microsoft really started promoting Windows 10 and try to push that out to everybody. Well, this woman right here, she had a problem. She was running a business. It had a copy of Windows and Microsoft's Windows 10 automatically updated to, well, Windows 10. And then the computer started crashing, having errors going slow. And then she wasn't able to use her computer for her business. And she took Microsoft to court and well, the case is out now. Microsoft actually lost the case and she was awarded $10,000. Now Microsoft said they didn't admit no wrongdoing and they're just not appealing the case because of the court costs, which is true. The cost of paying Microsoft lawyers will be more than the $10,000 they have to pay this woman. It definitely would be. But here is the point. If you guys remember, all my computers are now upgraded to Windows 10, but the computer I'm currently using is a computer I built right now in 2016. The computer had before automatically upgraded upgraded to Windows 10 and then I started to run into issues. I really had to do some troubleshooting. I had some problems. I had to log into freaking Microsoft. You know how Microsoft wants you to log into Windows 10 now? I had to make account, log in, have them follow everything I do on my computer and I really didn't want that and I did do that with that computer just to finally get it working. But then here's a crazy situation with this, right? I have friends who run repair shops and I have families out here who don't know about computers. Some of their computers are upgraded as well and they ran into the same issues of crashes, stuff, and it made me mad because I had to go out there and troubleshoot so many computers that I just didn't want to have to deal with for families and friends about Windows automatically upgrading, people not understanding, and it crashing and not working right. At the time, I just thought there was nothing you could do about it. I didn't think if anybody sued Microsoft, they wouldn't be able to win because it was a technically a free update. But here we actually have some justice for this lady and to know that some people out there who actually lost business, because in this case, this woman lost her business, the computer because Microsoft automatically updated her shit and she had the right to suit and she got her money. This is not a frivolous lawsuit. This is a lawsuit that Microsoft should have lost because they should have been better at the way they were distributing Windows 10 in the early days. Now that they have it so you can set it up schedules, but they were very aggressive with it early on and early on there was a lot of issues. Now I will tell you guys, go ahead and upgrade to Windows 10. It's working perfectly fine for me. I haven't had no issues in months. My family's not having an issue. My friends are working fine. But early on, there were problems and I was dealing with these problems for friends and families. And I saw these issues coming up where, you know, unless you're really computer literate, you might run into things that you just think like, fuck it, just wipe the computer. I gotta get my computer back up running, especially if it's a business computer. It might even be a big headache. So I'm just here glad to say that. I hope Microsoft learns their lesson whenever Windows 5.0 comes out or you know whatever 10.5 Windows 11 comes out and it's gonna be a free upgrade once again if they ever plan to do that because right now Microsoft is saying no Windows 10 is gonna be next Windows for basically forever which you definitely know there's gonna be a Windows 11 there's gonna be another version of Windows eventually and it's not gonna be 10 forever it's just not gonna happen something new is gonna come along they're gonna rebrand it in some way they could even rebrand it to just Windows where it's a one Windows platform but whatever is gonna happen in the future wherever Microsoft goes with this they're just gonna have to make sure that the customers have a choice to upgrade because it's very important that we have these choices and you don't automatically do shit that cooks screw over computers because it really sucks when you lose shit lose your data you guys know it so i'm just glad for this woman to actually won this lawsuit it's only a victory for the small guy right here but i'm glad to see that some way out there there is a judge that understood that yes microsoft messed up in this case and that woman deserves that ten thousand dollars for her loss in her business sometimes as little people like i said guys i would have never expected a judge to award Microsoft a loss on this case. When I finally heard that she actually got her money, I'm like, good going, judge. The system actually works for once. So there you go, guys. Just my tech talk for Monday. Beaky talks. Share your opinions in the comment section below. Did Microsoft go a little too aggressive when the Windows 10 upgrade when it initially came out? I personally think they did. They tried to force a lot of people to upgrade. Even when you said no, they wanted to keep pushing it out there. Yes, it's free, but sometimes free software out there could break your stuff. Like, not everything free. Is great. Look at Steam Green Light. <laughs> Later, guys.